I've got it on a lanyard, which is around my neck, and there's a plate that hangs underneath my shirt, and this camera here is attached to a plate that attaches to the magnetic mount below the shirt. And so we'll see if this works out. If it doesn't, well, we'll see. Okay, this is uh, the uh, camera mount that I got, that I had hanging underneath my shirt with a lanyard around my neck. And uh, I would mount the uh, camera on this. And I just uh, have it underneath the shirt and it clamps onto the uh, magnetic uh, mount. They're both magnetically mounted or magnetically charged. So they hang underneath the shirt and on top of the shirt or jacket or hat, whatever you want. So anyway, that's uh, what I got. I'll put the uh, product no name on the video, of course, and uh, I'll have a link to where you can get it on Amazon down below. Time to play with some clay. Well, I'm trying this for the first time. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I think it's going to work out better because the uh, you don't have the sound of the uh, table with my camera like it was yesterday mounted on a uh, on the uh, turntable here. But we'll see. We'll just have to work out problems as I go along. It's a little lower view of what I'm doing, but I've got another camera set up uh, to the side here. That way. <laughs> oh, anyway. We'll see if it all works out. I already tested out this morning as far as the sound goes, and sound was fine.
well, even with a shirt mount, it looks like it still some of it can't be seen. There's no perfect position for this uh, camera. And I'm afraid I'll just have to do the best I can. And uh, it's not always going to be perfectly lined up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just uh, adding the chest muscles here. They connect to the uh, front legs just like uh, they would on the front arms of your, well, not the front arms, <laughs> like they do the chest muscles connect to your, uh, your arms. And uh, it's just a different layout, of course, but uh, it's basically the same anatomy. That's how you can tell there was one designer and creator of all things. Because everything has similarities to humans as far as how muscles work and how they connect. You just have to uh, understand all that at some point. All right, back to sculpting. All right, I got the front chest and the neck uh, just about done. It'll take some tweaking. Um, but I'm happy with how it's coming out. Uh, next time, I'll be working on the uh, rear leg of the horse and uh, getting that to the point where it looks like a rear leg. <laughs> and uh, once I get that, then I'll be uh, to the point where I can put this together with the other horse and then start working on the last horse. I'm happy the way the head turned out on this horse, and uh, it's all looking pretty good, as far as I'm concerned. At any rate, I'm going to be going up north tomorrow, so I won't be here in my studio. I'll be here Friday. Well, that's the plan, anyway. Things have a tendency to change. And then I'll see you guys uh, next time when we'll work on the uh, left side of the horse's uh, backside. All right, good night everybody. Have a great night and uh, see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.